we are glassing for coos deer right now, which involves a lot of meticulous looking over big, big tracks of country. Uh, they're super hard to find these deer. They blend in extremely well. So when you do find them, there is a lot of switching between binoculars and spotting scopes because they're so small and they blend in so well. So like actually recognizing a buck from far off, even if he's a big one, can be a challenge. So when I first started doing this, I was a uh, tripod leg guy. And what I mean by that is I never messed with the center post of my tripod ever. I would set the legs to what I wanted them to be so that the legs would be like up here and I'd glass like that and then when I wanted to switch over to my spotting scope, I'd have to fumble around with my legs and make them smaller. And just, it just took a, it was a time suck basically. It just took a lot of time. It was not efficient. So now what I do, what I found out is the best way to do it for me personally is I will set the tripod for the height of the spotting scope. Okay. So this is what I mean by that. And this is this is more specifically an angled spotting scope tip. Uh, straight spotting scopes, it's like you don't have to mess with the height at all. Just take your binos off, put the straight spotter on there. Um, so what I do, I like to set set the height for the angled spotter. So the legs are set right now for this. I can come down, look look through my spotter. All all good, right? So when I want to use my binoculars again. Instead of messing with the legs, what I'll do is I'll take off the spotter, put the binos on, and then I just raise the center post up to where I need it to be. And now I'm glassing, glassing along. Whoop, there's a deer that I want to get a closer look at. Pop the binos off, pop the spotting scope on bring the center post down. Now we're looking through the spotter. Another thing that you can do, if you need to get a real quick look, okay, pop these binos back on here, raise these up. This is another angled spotting scope tip, okay? So looking, oh, there's a deer I wanna get a closer look at, but he's about to disappear. Leave the center post high like this, twist the angled spotter, and you're looking at right where the binos were. So there's no like refining that has to happen there. And when you're done, pop that off, and it's back to the binos. So that is the most efficient way I found to switch between binoculars and spotting scope. Um, and yeah, I wish I would have wish I would have learned it earlier. Now I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go look for a big old buck.